Hello everyone, just Gorn here and welcome back to another Plant Zoo real life inspiration video of the Arid Animal Pack and today we're looking at this beautiful boy or girl, I think this is actually the girl, uh, we're looking at the black rhino today, one of the animals I'm very excited for because we are going to start off with the Beekse Berge, which means I get to add another real animal to the Beekse Berge recreation as well, but yeah, this is in the Beekse Berge. Strangely enough, I don't have that much recent footage of the Beeksebergen, so this is when this area first opened three years ago. Uh, this is last winter, and we also have some footage of last summer to show you how the foliage is growing in a little bit. But at the moment it's a lot more lush, I just don't really have anything to show that with <laughs> right now. But uh, take my word for it, it looks absolutely amazing, as you can see right here. So as you're walking across this path, you can tell that they did a really really good job at hiding the moat like as you get up to it like this you can kind of see it over there but while you're walking across the path it just blends in so well like the front uh, terrain and the terrain of the habitat blend well together so well you can barely tell there is actually a moat there and this fools a lot of people i often hear people being like huh how can the rhino get to us um so yeah that's just a really cool thing about this habitat. But as it comes to black rhinos in general, what are the type of things you need? Well, um, we can see that we have two different habitats over here in the Beeksebergen. That's because black rhinos are solitary animals. They don't really like to share their habitat with each other. Also, not that much with other animals. Uh, the black rhinos at Beeksebergen, um, or at least one of them, the male Hodari, uh, he came from the resort where he was on a shared uh, exhibit with like all sorts of savannah animals and he just didn't quite have a good time there so that's why they put brought them to the safari park instead and gave them their own little space over here preferably you would even have three habitats i think they are planning on making a third one but only once they actually do get offspring so next zoo is the zoo of cologne they also have a pretty lovely black rhino area i'm not a huge fan of the uh, glass viewing for a rhino. I think it's a little obtrusive. The windows are also very scratched and very dirty. And uh, no uh, small part due to the rhino probably. Uh, but yeah, we can peek over here to get a good look at that habitat. It's not the biggest. I do think it's under construction because I could see a lot of the construction taking place around this habitat, uh, especially on the other side. And the stall was also not accessible so that's a bit of a bummer because i would have loved to see what the stall looks like we only have one stall to look at today which is uh, yeah, a bit of a bummer it's always nice to see that stuff um but yeah we can just see uh, the trees being protected by bigger logs in the Beekse Berge they were protected by uh, all sorts of rocks so it is important that you protect those trees to um, prevent the rhinos from using them as a scratching post <laughs> And yeah, so over here again, we can see two different yards. There is even a third being worked on on the back. And um, so yeah, over here you would be able to get to the stall, uh, which is a wonderful classical building over there. And we'll be able to see that a little bit better as we get to the other side. So let's do that. And yeah, over here we can see the old elephant stall, now rhino stall. And this habitat, yeah, it's under construction, but it looks like it's going to be a lot more open and a lot nicer. So I'm really curious to see what that's going to be like in some time. But that's pretty much it for Cologne. So let's go to the next zoo. And the next zoo is going to be Rotterdam Zoo, also a classical zoo. We are at the Riviera Hall because this wing of the Riviera Hall over here used to be kind of the pachyderm house. It even is still on that gate. It says thick hides, uh, pachyderms, um, but yeah, that used to be a guest area, but is no longer. It's now just a black rhino stall, keeping that separate from the guests. And yeah, this habitat has such a history. It used to be for elephants. It has had giraffes and other savanna animals on it. And over here, you can see really well what that used to be like, right? So the terrain now slopes down up until that wall, um, but of course, you can imagine that in the past, uh, the terrain would have just gone up against that wall and you just have this u moat uh, with very little space between the guests and the animals. Like with elephants there, I'm sure there must have been some trunk touching happening every now and then. Um, yeah, of course, that is not of today's standards anymore. So that's why uh, this is a very um, 
good way to, to still keep the same structure, but uh, make it a lot safer and keep the animals a lot further away from the guests. So what we can see here, uh, just like with um, the others we've seen, many different habitats. Rotterdam Zoo actually very nicely has divided this space up into three separate habitats um, with these rock walls uh, dividing them and then these gates made out of these metal bars um, which can be slid open to yeah open up these habitats to each other. So normally you would see the rhinos separate but uh, when there's young uh, you might see an extra rhino or two together um, and yeah when the young get too old they might have to be separated from the parents again so that's why you want that third habitat. Again we can also see the tree being protected uh, against the rhinos in the back and yeah this is just a really cool habitat and there we got a rhino super awesome so as i said mostly alone but sometimes if you're lucky uh, you will also see them together like over here i forget when this was exactly um but it was when they had at least one young and i guess the parents were just together vibing <laughs> so next up we have the zoo of Krefeld last zoo already we're starting off with the indoor area for the black rhino because this is the only one where I've got an indoor area to show you. So over here we've got the rhino stall. It's nothing too spectacular over here. Crayfeld is a pretty small zoo which, uh, which makes me question if they should have some of these animals that they have. Um, but the black rhino definitely don't have it all too bad in here. Just a nice stall. There's also a little bath here. It looks like it does connect to the black rhinos as well. Um, but it's probably mostly for the elephants over here, which we're not going to look at because that's too depressing. <laughs> and let's move on to the outdoor yard of the Black Rhino, which is actually quite nice. We've got this pretty large open space. Probably, I can't exactly see in my footage where it is separated, but I'm guessing uh, it must be separated as well. And yeah, we see a lot of the same things, like protected trees with rocks and logs, um, as well as... Uh, keeping them away from the guests a little bit. Over here there's also an electric wire up on that log. Um, all to keep the animals and guests separate. But that is it for Krefeld and that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed, hope you got some black rhino inspiration and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye!